passing on the good news. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Passing on the good news. When we have heard and understood the good news of God's mercy, that God forgives if we turn to him and repent, that our salvation does not depend on our own deeds, but rather on that what God has done. If we understand all this, of course, we also want to give on the good news to other people. And we shall do that at many occasions. Jesus tells to pass on the good news, but to whom shall we tell it on? Basically, to all people. There's only very few times that Jesus says, be careful. In a very few occasions, to be aware of people who misuse the good news. For example, the tyrants, the persecutors, the people who might misuse the good news in a sense of uh, black magic and such kind of things, or the hypocrites who only use it for themselves, but do not accept that God's love is also valid for other people. Most of all, need to be careful of the persecutors and those who ridicule the good news. In Matthew 7, verse 6, Jesus says, Do not give what is holy to dogs. They will only turn and attack you. Do not throw your pearls in front of pigs. They will only trample them underfoot. So we shall not give what is holy to the dogs. But generally, we are always called to pass on the good news. Probably most of us are more guilty of not passing it on. So to whom shall we pass on the good news? Basically to all, except where the word is misused, the word of God. Lord, we thank you for your great word. We thank you for your good news, the gospel of forgiveness, of your love, that salvation does not depend on our own deeds and achievements, but on you, what you have done. You went to the cross and died for us. You have achieved the victory. We praise your holy name. We thank you for all that you give. We thank you for your great news. And we ask that you show us to whom we shall pass on this good news, that you give opportunities and willingness to talk and also the right words and help us also to understand to whom we shall not tell the pearls or what is holy, to whom it shall not be given. We praise your holy name and we pray that you guide us through this life towards your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.